Have you ever wished you could travel back in time to change the past, or leap into the future to see what it holds? Time travel. A concept that has stirred our imagination and curiosity for as long as we can remember. A concept that has been at the heart of numerous works of science fiction, from H.G. Wells, The Time Machine, to the beloved Back to the Future trilogy, and countless other movies, books, and TV shows. The fascination with time travel is not just limited to pop culture, it has also captured the interest of some of the greatest minds in science. Theoretical physicists and cosmologists have grappled with the idea exploring the very edges of our understanding of the universe. Time travel isn't just a narrative device for thrilling tales of adventure, it's a legitimate area of scientific inquiry. The concept of time travel has its roots in our understanding of space and time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, space and time are intertwined into a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. This theory suggests that under certain conditions, it might be possible to travel through time, just as we travel through space. However, these conditions, such as the existence of wormholes or the attainment of light speed, are beyond our current technological capabilities, placing time travel firmly in the realm of theoretical physics. Yet the story doesn't end here. There's another branch of physics that might have something to say about time travel, quantum physics. This is the study of the very small, the subatomic particles that make up our universe. In this strange, almost surreal world, particles can be in two places at once, pass through impenetrable barriers and even some suggest influence the past. But what if we told you that time travel might not just be a work of fiction? What if it already exists in the realm of quantum physics? To understand this we first need to dive into the fascinating and bizarre world of quantum physics. Quantum physics, unlike its classical counterpart, is a realm where the common rules of the universe take a back seat. A world where particles can exist in two places at once, teleport through barriers, and even affect each other instantaneously across vast distances. Yes, it sounds like the stuff of science fiction but quantum physics is very much a reality, and it's been tested and proven time and again. In the classical physics we all know and love, objects behave in predictable deterministic ways. Drop a ball, and it falls. Throw it, and it follows a predictable arc. But quantum physics? It's a bit like stepping into Wonderland. In the quantum world particles behave more like waves than solid objects, existing in a state of uncertainty until observed. This is known as superposition. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. While it's spinning it's both heads and tails at the same time. But the moment you catch it it's either one or the other. That's a rough analogy for superposition. Now let's delve into something even stranger. Quantum entanglement. Picture a pair of quantumly entangled particles. No matter how far apart they are, the state of one instantaneously affects the state of the other. So, if you measure one particle and find it spinning clockwise, the other one will be spinning counterclockwise, even if it's light years away. This instantaneous action seems to defy the universal speed limit, the speed of light. After all, how can one particle know what the other is doing unless information is traveling faster than light? Einstein was so troubled by this that he called it spooky action at a distance, refusing to believe that nature could be so strange. Yet, experiment after experiment has confirmed that this spooky action is real. This strange phenomenon, my friends, is quantum entanglement, the spooky action at a distance, as Einstein famously called it. So, what exactly is quantum entanglement? Let's dive into this fascinating concept that confounds even the most brilliant minds. Picture this. You have a pair of identical twins. They are so in sync that when one experiences pain, the other one feels it too, regardless of how far apart they are. This is a rough analogy of what quantum entanglement is like. In the world of quantum physics, particles can become entangled. This means that the state of one particle is directly connected to the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. It's as if these particles are deeply linked, forming an immediate bond that transcends space. It all begins when two particles interact and become entangled. From that moment on they can no longer be described separately. Instead they form a single entwined system. Now here comes the mind-boggling part. The state of one particle directly influences the state of the other, instantaneously, regardless of the distance between them. This could be a few feet, miles or even light years apart. This phenomenon known as quantum entanglement is what Einstein famously referred to as spooky action at a distance. And to be fair, it is indeed spooky. It defies our understanding of the world as we know it. According to the laws of physics, nothing can travel faster than light, but these entangled particles seem to communicate instantly. Now, 
You might be wondering what happens if we change the state of one of the entangled particles. Well, the magic of quantum entanglement lies here. If we measure one particle and force it into a state, the other particle will also change its state instantaneously, mirroring its twin. Let's say we have two entangled particles, one here on Earth and the other one on Mars. If we observe the particle on Earth and find it spinning in a certain direction, the particle on Mars will instantaneously start spinning in the opposite direction. This happens faster than light could have traveled between the two particles, which is why it's so mind-boggling. But there's a catch. The states of these particles are not determined until they are measured. Before measurement, they exist in a superposition of states, meaning they could be in any possible state. It's only when we observe or measure them that their states become defined. In essence, quantum entanglement describes a kind of immediate, unbreakable connection between particles, a connection that exists beyond space and time as we understand them. It's a phenomenon that challenges our understanding of the universe and the very nature of reality itself. So, how does this spooky action relate to time travel? The connection is more profound than you might think. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mysteries of quantum entanglement and its implications for time travel. The connection between quantum entanglement and time travel is both fascinating and mind-boggling. Quantum entanglement, where particles become linked and share information instantaneously no matter how far apart they are, seems to defy our everyday understanding of reality. It's a concept that even Einstein had difficulty accepting referring to it as spooky action at a distance. Now let's dive into an intriguing thought experiment involving quantum entanglement and time travel. Imagine we have a pair of entangled particles, we'll call them Alice and Bob. Alice is kept here on Earth while Bob is sent on a round trip near the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time would pass slower for Bob than for Alice. Now here's where it gets really interesting. If Alice's state changes while Bob is on his journey, then Bob's state should also change instantaneously, even though he's light years away. But remember, from Bob's perspective, Alice is in the future. So, if Alice's state changes and Bob's state changes instantaneously, isn't that information from the future affecting the past? This is where we start to see a connection between quantum entanglement and time travel. If changes in one entangled particle could hypothetically affect its past state, then it seems like we're talking about information traveling backwards in time. It's important to note, however, that this is a simplified version of a very complex topic. There are many theoretical considerations and potential loopholes to this concept, not to mention the practical challenges of manipulating quantum states and sending particles on near light speed journeys. So, is this really time travel? Well, in a way, it could be. We're certainly not talking about hopping into a DeLorean and zipping back to the past, but in the realm of the very small on the quantum level, it might be a different story. In essence, this could mean that information can travel backwards in time. But the question remains, could this really be possible? In the quantum world, time might not even exist as we know it. Now that's a sentence that could give anyone pause, but what does it mean exactly? Well, in the realm of quantum mechanics, the laws that govern the universe as we know it take a back seat to a whole new set of rules. Let's take a moment to explore the concept of time in quantum physics. Traditionally, we perceive time as a constant, forward-moving force. We measure it in seconds, minutes, hours, days, and so on. However, when we delve into the quantum realm, this linear understanding of time starts to unravel. In fact, some scientists propose that time is an emergent property with no fundamental status. In simpler terms, time as we know it may not be a basic building block of the universe. Instead, it might just be a phenomenon that emerges under certain conditions, much like how wetness emerges when enough water molecules gather together. This idea is still very much a hypothesis but it's one that has gained traction in recent years. Theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli for instance has suggested that time could be an effect of quantum entanglement. He posits that the interconnectedness of particles causes a sort of time dilation which gives rise to the perception of time. But if time doesn't exist at the quantum level, what then? Does it mean that quantum particles exist in a state of timelessness? Possibly. It could be that these particles operate outside the constraints of time, unbound by its forward march. This could have profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It might even change the way we think about time travel. After all, if time doesn't exist at the quantum level, the concept of moving backward or forward through it becomes a whole new ballgame. So, if time doesn't exist at the quantum level, what does it mean for time travel? 
Well, that's a question that continues to tantalize scientists and science enthusiasts alike. And it's a question that we'll continue to explore as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. Is time travel truly possible? Or is it just a figment of our imagination, fueled by science fiction? This question has intrigued scientists and dreamers alike for centuries. The concept of time travel, however, is not as straightforward as it may seem in the movies. It's a complex topic wrapped in layers of scientific theories and paradoxes. One of the most famous paradoxes associated with time travel is the grandfather paradox. Imagine for a moment that you've traveled back in time and accidentally caused your grandfather's untimely demise before your parent was born. This would prevent your own existence, which in turn, would mean you could never have traveled back in time to cause the mishap in the first place. Baffling, isn't it? The world of quantum mechanics, however, seems to offer some possible solutions to these paradoxes. Quantum superposition, for instance, allows particles to exist in multiple states at once. Could this principle be applied to time travel allowing us to exist in multiple timelines simultaneously? It's a tantalizing thought but one that remains purely speculative at this point. The theory of quantum entanglement also holds some potential answers. If two particles can be linked in such a way that the state of one instantly affects the other, regardless of the distance between them, could this principle be extended to time as well as space? Could we perhaps entangle ourselves with a version of us in the past or future? Again, the answer remains elusive. But here's the thing, just because we don't have all the answers yet doesn't mean we should stop asking the questions. The field of quantum physics is still very young and every day brings new discoveries and possibilities. So, is time travel truly possible? Well, the jury is still out on that one. But one thing is clear, as long as we keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep pushing the boundaries of what we know, anything is possible. While we cannot conclusively say that time travel is possible, we cannot rule it out either. Quantum physics is still a young and rapidly evolving field with much left to discover. As we step into the realm of the future, we are greeted with an array of possibilities that quantum physics promises to bring. From quantum computing to quantum teleportation, the future of this enigmatic field is a treasure trove of scientific wonders waiting to be unearthed. Let's talk about quantum computing first. Unlike traditional computing which uses bits as the smallest unit of data, quantum computing harnesses the power of qubits. These qubits can exist in multiple states at once thanks to a quantum phenomenon known as superposition. This means they can process vast amounts of information simultaneously, potentially revolutionizing fields like cryptography, material science, and even medicine. Next, we have quantum teleportation, a concept that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel. But it's not about beaming humans or objects from one place to another. Rather, it's about transferring the state of a quantum system to another, distant system without any physical link. This could lead to ultra-secure communication systems, immune to any form of eavesdropping. The future implications of quantum physics are not just limited to these areas. It could potentially provide answers to some of the most profound questions about the universe, like the nature of dark matter and dark energy. It could even challenge our current understanding of time and space possibly opening doors to time travel. However, it's essential to remember that these are possibilities, not certainties. Quantum physics is still young, and its full potential is yet to be realized. The road ahead is filled with uncertainties and the journey is riddled with complexities. But that's the beauty of it. The thrill of venturing into the unknown, the excitement of unearthing new knowledge, the joy of expanding our understanding of the universe. Only time will tell what secrets the quantum world still has in store for us. So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of time travel and quantum entanglement. We began our journey into the unknown, unraveling the mystery of time travel, a concept that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. We discussed the intriguing idea of moving forwards or backwards in time, and how it has been a staple of science fiction, and a subject of serious scientific debate. Next. We dove into the quantum world, where the rules of classical physics are bent and twisted. We learned about the strange and counterintuitive principles that govern the behavior of particles at this microscopic level, a place where the seemingly impossible becomes possible. Our exploration led us to the concept of quantum entanglement, a phenomenon so bizarre that even Einstein referred to it as spooky action at a distance. We delved into how two entangled particles, no matter how far apart they are, can instantly affect each other's state, a fact that continues to astonish and puzzle scientists. 
We then ventured into the intersection of entanglement and time travel. We pondered over the possibility that the entanglement of particles could be the key to unlocking the secrets of time travel. But, we also acknowledged the complexities and challenges that such a feat would bring with it. Our journey took us to the timeless quantum world, where we discovered that time as we understand it, does not exist. In the quantum realm, the past, present and future are not separate entities but exist simultaneously, adding another layer to the complexity of quantum physics. From there we discussed the possibility of time travel. We talked about the theoretical existence of wormholes and how they could potentially serve as shortcuts through space and time. We also touched on the paradoxes that time travel could create and the philosophical implications it would have. As we look to the future of quantum physics, we acknowledge that we are only scratching the surface of this vast and mystifying field. The quantum world holds many secrets yet to be discovered, and as our understanding evolves, so too will our perception of reality. And now, here we are, at the end of our journey, yet just at the beginning of understanding. The exploration of time travel and quantum entanglement has opened our minds to new possibilities and left us with more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of science. It's a never-ending journey of discovery. From the mysteries of time travel to the peculiarities of the quantum world, it's clear that our reality is far more complex and fascinating than we could ever have imagined. As we continue to probe the depths of the quantum realm, we can only marvel at the wonders that await us. While we continue to explore the quantum world, one thing is clear, reality is far stranger than fiction. Thanks for watching Time Pilgrimage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating time and space-related content.